tired after an hour Ria Mam stopped me and Ravi she told it's enough for today now put our sandals back on our feet. Ria and Suman Mam take their foot from the table. I take Ria Mam heels and started putting them on her feet similarly Ravi also put the sandals back on Suman Mam feet. Ria Mam told OK Ankit and Ravi both of you now go and check the raw material stock me and mom are leaving for home so finish checking the stock and then you both can go. Suman and Ria Mam stood up and moved out of the chamber. I saw Ravi face. He was upset. I asked Ravi what happened you look sad. Ravi replied that he is feeling humiliated by massaging Suman Mam feet and cleaning her sandals. I also told Ravi that even I did not want to do it but just because of money I did it. Both Ravi and me move out of the chamber and went to the go down to check the raw material for furniture. After an hour we finished our task and packed our bag, we went to Metro to catch the train. It was almost 8 p.m. We unlocked our house and changed our clothes. Ravi took a shower and I started preparing the dinner. Then both me and Ravi moved to roof of house to have our dinner. Ravi also made two drinks for dinner. Whole city was visible from the roof. We started our dinner. I saw Ravi he was still upset. I raised my glass for cheers to make Ravi comfortable. We finished our dinner in next half an hour. It was 9 p.m. and night was still young. Me and Ravi decided to have a walk to a nearby shop to get a cigarette. We reached the shop televisions was switched on in the shop. News was coming on it. Me and Ravi had put some money in the stock market and are expecting a good return. We saw in the news that market is good and Sensex has increased. We and Ravi got happy hearing the news. It was a April night and summer had started in the Delhi. Ravi lit the cigarette and we both sat there for some time watching the news. We left for home after some time. We wake up in the morning at 7 a.m. Me and Ravi took the shower and get ready for office. We did our breakfast and went downstairs to reach the metro. We pass from the cigarette shop which had TV. Me and Ravi saw a huge crowd there. People were talking among themselves some are even crying. I didn't understand what was the matter. We reached near the shop. Television was playing the morning news, it was almost 9.30 a.m. Stock market had opened for trade and it was a market crash. Everything was red and Sensex and Nifty had fallen over 1,000 points. It was a bear market. Ravi got paralyzed hearing the news. He sat on the ground heat broken. I saw tears in his eyes. Me and Ravi had lost our one-year savings in just 15 minutes. I controlled myself and hold Ravi. Ravi was crying hugging me. He said we lost the money Ankit, all our savings gone. I consoled Ravi and took him away from the shop even I don't know what to do. We sat for some time at the metro station still processing our tragic last hour of today. We took the metro to office. We are late. Ria Mam was already in the office. She called us inside the chamber. We entered her chamber. She shouted you duffers where we're both of you. Me and Ravi moved our gaze down. I spoke sorry ma'am we are in the middle of something. Ria Mam stopped me mid-sentence and told no more excuse now, you both will be punished today. Ria Mam told me to go in the parking and wash her car as punishment and Ravi to clean her chamber. I went outside the office in the parking. Me and Ravi both are sad, Ravi was still in shock how was not even speaking any word. Ravi took the mop and sat on his knees and started cleaning the office. 
Ria Mam Hon rang. It was Suman Mam on the other side. Suman Mam spoke Ria, we need catering guys to have the party at home, your birthday is tomorrow only. Ria Mam replied yes mom give me 15 minutes to call the catering service shop to book them for tomorrow. I will call you when booking will be done. Ravi was mopping the floor of Ria Mam. She was wearing one piece today and flat shoes. Her nails are inside shoes. Ria Mam noticed that Ravi is cleaning very slowly and is totally lost. She shouted you lazy donkey come here and clean near my desk at my feet this is what you deserve. Ria Mam called the catering manager but he replied that there is already a booking. Ria Mam was worried that how she will arrange a party without a cook. Ravi moved near Ria Mam feet. He cannot be able control himself more. Ravi hold Ria Mam feet and stared crying. Ria Mam got confused what Ravi was doing. Ravi was crying like a child. Ria Mam asked what happened to you now. Ravi said in a crying voice I lost my savings in the stock market today the market crashed. Ria Mam know the news. Ravi told Ria Mam still holding her feet Mam I need money, I can do anything for you if you have any task. Ria Mam smiled and told yes Ravi there is something you can do and even Ankit can join you. Ravi got surprised and happy anything ma'am just tell us me and Ankit both will do it. Ria ma'am told Ravi tomorrow I have arranged a private party at home only four people are there and I need someone who can cook and serve us in the party. Ravi face got lightened. He told ma'am Ankit and me cook very good food we will do it for you. Ria Mam told look Ravi I will give 10,000 for one night but in return you and Ankit have to serve me and my guest if you promise me then I can consider you and Ankit. Ravi promised Ria Mam for serving her and all guest at 10,000 bucks. Ria Mam told Ravi now since you are holding my feet so clean my sandals and give me a nice foot massage. Ravi started cleaning Ria Mam flats and then stared massaging her feet like a slave. I returned after an hour. I entered Ria Mam chamber. I saw Ria Mam relaxing on her chair with her feet in Ravi lap. Ravi was rubbing her foot with his hand. Ria Mam saw me and asked so Ankit you cleaned my car good. Now I am leaving for home tomorrow is my birthday and I have to prepare for the party. Ria Mam pointed at her shoes. Ravi happily put them on her feet. Ria Mam stood up and moved out of the office. I was still wonder what party she was talking about. To be continued. Please like and subscribe for next part.